Hey, sisters and brothers, soldiers and warriors, chosen ones all over the world. This is your sister, Fire. I'm happy and blessed to be back, my brothers and sisters. And I hope you all are in good graces and in good health. Today's message um, is, well, I'm going to start out by saying, now we know we all should know that we are living in the last days. What the Bible speaks about as the last days, okay? We got wars and rumors of wars, my brothers and sisters. Um, there's so many uh, natural catastrophes happening all over the world, all over the world. And then... In some of our own communities, there's so much violence, so much wickedness, not in just some of our communities, but all over the world, okay? And so my point of bringing this up, my brothers and sisters, is to say that, you know, we must cleave to the Lord, my brothers and sisters. If we want to survive in this world and keep our soul, Okay. And keep our soul. That's the key point here. Um, we, we have to uh, cleave to the most high. We have to keep that relationship with him, my brothers and sisters. And so I'm so strong on the keep the relationship with him because some of us have been taught you know, in that religious spirit where, you know, you got to wear long skirts, you got to wear a suit and tie, you got to look like church, you got to look like you serve God. But in the inside, um, a lot of those people are far away from God. And so God simply wants a relationship with us. Because once we get that relationship with him, he is going to lead and show us the way. And so it is so important that we cleave to him in these last days, okay? It, it, it's, it's still important if it wasn't the last days, but definitely it being the last days. Because if you haven't noticed or not, Satan is roaming around like a lion, okay? Seeking whom he may devour, okay? And so um, he is trying so hard to trip us up. He is, uh, you know, making all types of snares and traps to try to trap us up, my brothers and sisters. So we must cleave to the Lord, okay, so that we are uh, safe. He is our fortress. He is our strong tower, okay? And so... You know, the enemy, you don't even have to, to, you could really be, you know, trying to live your life righteous and the enemy can still trip you up. He's going to uh, send Jezebels and Delilahs at men. And then, you know, um, at women, he'll send a man with the Jezebel spirit. Okay. Or something that of that sort to try to throw you off course, to try to destroy you. Yes. And so it's very important that, you know, we uh, watch who we are around, who we allow around us. Because it only takes a second for your life to change. It only takes a second for you to experience what I like to call a um, life-altering event, okay? Something that alters your, your life um, in, a, in a negative way. A negative life-altering event, my brothers and sisters. It only takes a second. And that's why I'm saying you may not even, you may be living your life right by God, minding your business, but Satan is behind the scenes, him and his army, concocting some stuff together and trying to uh, snare and trip you up. 
And so we have to be on our P's and Q's. And how do we do that? We keep that relationship with the Most High Yah. That's how we do that. Because the Holy Spirit is going to tell us things. Yes, we'll have the spirit of discernment. So we'll be able to discern things. And if we don't catch um, the enemy right away, um, we will eventually catch him when he tries to come into our lives and stir up strife. And, and come into our lives and come to, you know, um, misdirect and destroy us. The Holy Spirit is going to keep us on our toes. This enemy is very crafty. And, 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 and a bit clever, okay? And I'm not tooting his horn, but we have to be real. We have to know uh, what we're working with, okay? We have to know our enemy. And so, yes, the enemy is clever. But as long as we are walking with the most high, we have that relationship. And my brothers and sisters, it's not really that hard. All we have to do is pray without ceasing. Sometimes we may have to fast, okay? We got to get that word in us. That's life, okay? Them scriptures down in our heart, okay? And then resist the devil and he shall flee. Also, we must use our words. We must command things, okay? Words are powers. For the Lord made the heavens and the earth using his what? His words, and then we also want to loose those things from the heavens down here on earth that we want. So it's not really that hard to keep that relationship with the most high. You just have to make sure that you are not allowing yourself to be distracted by the enemy. Because anything that comes to take you away from the Lord is what? A distraction. A distraction. OK, so, yes, I just wanted to speak with you all about that. We are in the last days, the end times. And so, you know, it's very important for us to keep that relationship with the most high y'all so that we can keep our soul salvation. And so that we can be protected and we don't have to look over our shoulders because we know um, if something goes down, we're going to be OK. But when we are not living right is when the fear comes in. And see, chosen ones, people of Yah, we don't live in fear. Fear is what comes from Satan. Fear does not come from the Most High. He gives us faith. And faith comes by hearing. And hearing by what? The Word of God. I said, faith cometh, cometh by hearing and hearing by what? The word of God. So let us keep our souls because when you look around, you can see so many people are soulless. They have sold their soul for money or sold their soul for fame or sold their soul for, I mean, it's many different things, but the two main things that people um, usually sell their soul for is money and fame. And some of these people don't even realize that's what they have done. Because once again, Satan is crafty and clever and he will wheel you in will you right on in and you don't need if you're not paying attention before you know it he'll been uh, snatched your soul because you chasing behind stuff you chasing behind a man you chasing behind a woman you chasing behind a uh, fame you chasing her behind some money and before you know it you don't have your soul no more Well, I'm here to tell you before I end this video, and this just the Holy Spirit flowing. If you have sold your soul, my brothers and sisters, 
knowingly or unknowingly. You can get your soul back. I'm here to tell you. All you have to do is break the agreement that you have made with Satan. And conf uh, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And that you belong to him. And you can get your soul back. Now, that does not mean that you will not experience the repercussions or the effect from the things you have done, the, the evil deeds and sins that you have done. You may still have to uh, wear one. You may still have to reap what you have sown, but you surely can get your soul back. Unless you have blasphemy, God, you can get your soul back, my brothers and sisters. So, I love you all. And until next time.